Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? I hope that you are all safe and sound. My name is Professor Jeremiah Elioso, and welcome again to another um, session of our tutorial video to further improve our online distance learning. And for today, I am going to teach you how to record a video using Zoom for remote learning. So our objectives for today are to craft and curate a course content for asynchronous learning and to record the course content via Zoom. And maybe on part two, I'll be teaching you how to upload the recorded course content on your respective um, YouTube account. But for now, let's focus on this one. I'm sure that everybody is excited. So let's, without further ado, let's go ahead and start. So I'm sure that everyone is familiar with the Zoom video conferencing app. Maybe some of you are using this for your synchronous session. But even if you have the, you're using the Zoom video um, conferencing app, the, the freemium account, um, you can still um, have or maximize the recording feature of the Zoom in which you can use for your asynchronous session. So I'll be teaching you the step-by-step -step process on how to record a lesson using the Zoom video conference, conferencing app. And the steps are actually very easy. You just have to recall the five S steps. So first, one is to sign up or to sign in, then to schedule a meeting, then to set up, start, and save. All right, so just those five simple steps. Sign up or sign in, schedule, set up, start, and save. So let's get started. All right, the first step is to sign up. If um, you don't have a Zoom account yet, you can um, sign up, just go to zoom.us and on the top right, you just have, you will be finding the, the text that says sign up, it's free. free. So you just have to click that um, blue button and just have to um, have your email address to have or to direct you to the, the, your own Zoom account. But if you already have, your Zoom account, you have to sign in to get you to your uh, personal account, all right? So once you already log in, you will find the My Account. You just have to click that. And um, after which you will proceed with the next step. All right, so our step number two is to schedule a meeting. So on the top bar, you will find schedule a meeting. So when once you click that, this is um, how it actually looks like. So you will find the section of topic, description, the schedule of the meeting, the duration, time zone, meeting ID, security, video, meeting options. All right, so let me um, teach you how to fill this in. On the topic section, you just have to basically um, type or key in the maybe the topic or the topic of the day. So say, for example, that on my subject, I'll be recording a session on the topic of exhibition. And on the description, that's optional. So let me say, for example, that this is for topic number six. And then schedule the meeting. Maybe you can um, start right, right ahead. So just have to click in whatever time that you wish to have the recording. And that the time duration is actually set on the minimum um, for a free account. The plan is a 40 minute time limit, all right? Um, but when you are actually recording, there will be a prompt message that says that you are near to reach the 40 minute mark. So that's a heads up for you to maybe wrap up. 
so that the recording session will not be bitten. But if ever that um, you have reached that point where in natapos yung 40 minutes, maybe you can reschedule another session for the part two of your recording. Okay, so for the time zone, this is um, has already been set. Okay, so hindi ko na to pinapakailaman. Alright, because actually, uh, ma-adjust ma mo rin naman to eventually. Uh, for the recording sessions, ikaw lang naman yung nando doon. So, the host video is on. But you can also have a recorded session without the camera and only your voice is being recorded. So, there's no participants involved on this session, but you can also have someone to be part on the recorded session. So, it's your choice if um, the participant's video would be on or off, all right? And then after which you have to click save. All right, so after clicking the save button, you will be directed to this page and you will find the, the details of uh, the meeting, okay? So for the example that I have shown you, this is a topic on um, exhibition for my subject introduction to meetings, incentive conventions, and exhibition for the topic six. And I plan to, uh, you will also find the meeting ID and other details. So if you would have other people to be part of this recorded session, you can um, just click this to copy the invitation and send the, this to other participants. But if it would just be only you on the session, you can go ahead and start the recording. But I mean, you can start to enter the Zoom room by clicking this Start This Meeting button. Okay. Okay. So once you click that button, you will be directed to this um, landing page and you will be prompted to open the Zoom meetings. So don't worry, you're um, not recording the meeting just yet. Okay. And then after which, so you will be invited to join a meeting. All right. So you can join with computer audio. After which you are to proceed with step number three by setting up your equipment and documents. So you will see a control panel for your meeting. You can start the setup by unmuting your microphone and turning on your camera by clicking the start video if you plan to use the camera. And before you hit the record button, make sure that you have your notes ready and any other documents you want to share in your video. Perhaps you can um, prepare by opening your PowerPoint or the videos that you're going to use. And I suggest that you have the video pre-downloaded rather than screen sharing a YouTube tab to avoid any delay in playing of your video. And if you would be using any props or other learning materials during the, the recorded session, make sure that it's readily available in your station. Then remember to turn off your phone and the notification of other apps that are open on your tab and anything else that might cause any unwanted background noise. All right. So once you're already on, on, on that um, landing page, all before hitting the button, always look on the top left portion of the panel to make sure that there's a blinking button that says it's recording. Okay, make sure that you familiarize yourselves with the different buttons here. Um, make sure that um, the, your audio is um, working properly. Your camera is working um, properly as well. Okay, and if you would be needing to screen share your PowerPoint presentation, make sure you click this button and be familiarized with this um, button as well for you to record, pause, and stop the recording. And once you're done, you can
click the end button over here. All right. So once you are ready, you can go ahead and begin recording your video, which is the step number four. So your mic and camera has already been set up. Now it's time to share your screen. Click the share button on the control panel and select the document you want to share on your video. You can adjust your document to fit inside the green outline and note that the control panel is minimized at the bottom of the screen when you need it. When you are ready, hit the record button. Take time, don't rush through it. Pause if you need to. And you can also use your notes for guidance. When you're done recording your document, go to control panel at the bottom of the screen, select more to stop recording. And when you're completely finished, go to control panel menu, select more and end meeting or end meeting for all. All right, so this button allows you to share your PowerPoint, your video, or any learning materials that you wish to share with your target audience. Okay, so when you click that, make sure you um, select the proper window of the application that you want to share, all right? You can also, um, when, you, when your presentation is finished, you click stop recording in the more menu and click end meeting when you're finished. And the recorded meeting will be recorded or converted to MP4 once the meeting has been ended. All right, and maybe you will find this um, keyboard shortcuts very helpful to help you navigate while you are recording the session. So the keyboard shortcuts are different for, for Mac and uh, for other uh, laptop. All right. And the fifth step would be to save your video. Again, as I have mentioned that when you're done recording, you can um, end the meeting and Zoom will convert your meeting to a recording and you will be taken to your Zoom desktop folder where you will see your recording has been saved for you both in MP4 and audio files only. So you see that here there are um, the your session is being saved in MP4, which is, you will find it here, Zoom zero, and the audio version is also here for whatever purpose it may serve, maybe for editing purposes, and also you can use that for a um, podcast version of your lesson. And there's actually step number six, which is an optional step if you need to edit further your video to make it more engaging if, or if you wish to add more um, dimensions and character for your video. So again, as I've said that this is optional or it's not necessary to edit your video so long as you keep your video short, clean and clear, you are good to go. However, if you do find that you need to edit or cut out some parts, maybe you would need a third party editing tool. Um, I do suggest that you use CapCut. I am using CapCut personally to edit some of my videos. All right, so actually that's the end of my presentation. I hope that you learned something new today. I hope that you would be able to prepare and record a course content via Zoom. And next time, I'll be teaching you how to upload that recorded session on your YouTube account. All right. So see you all on the next session. And I hope that you do have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye.